In this class, we are going to learn how to upload an attachment or a file to a process task in Oracle integration. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on REST APIs for Oracle integration. Under that, I have selected the processors so that we are seeing the REST APIs available for processors. Under processors REST APIs, we need to go to task and there is a section called as add a task attachment. If you see over here, the HTTP method supported for this operation is post. And there is few documentation. We will learn in detail how we can do with the help of tools like SOAP UI when we are going to test this REST API. Now before proceeding ahead, we need to create one process application with the help of which we will create a task for that particular process application and for that particular task we are going to upload the file manually. We will look at that at first place and after uploading manually we will have a look at how we can make use of this REST API and upload the same file over REST protocol. I have created one sample test application. This is the process application. I am going to create a structured process which will start with a form. Let me create one. I am going to click on this and select start with the form. I am keeping everything default and clicking on create. You have to make sure the pattern selected is form. Click on create. So our designer canvas opens up for the process. Now before proceeding ahead, let's configure this start form action. Go to open properties. We need to create a form. As of now, there are no forms created. Let me create one. Go to plus. Create one web form. I am here naming this as a start form. Click on create. Click on the edit. Let me minimize this section on the left side by clicking on this navigator. Now, first activity what we need to do is we need to rename this presentation. In order to do that, switch over to this presentation tab. Instead of main, change it to submitter. Just tab out and go to form. If it doesn't reflect over here, just click on the refresh browser button. The presentation has been updated with submitter name. From the basic palette, let me drop this input text. So the first activity what I am going to name over here is the name. In this case, I will manually try to add the name. You can edit over here by double clicking. Also, we can select this component and on the left side, if you see the general here, it is showing as label. We can rename this in order to update the same. If you want to update the binding name, if you see over here in the data, this will be available in the data association, which we are going to make use of while mapping the details. So if you want to update, we can just name this as input name and just tab out so that it will reflect the data field as well. Next field I'm going to drop is the date. Select this and rename this to from date here in the label also i will name this as from date and let me add the to date as well select this and rename this to to date and here so there is a space over here let me remove that and for label let me name this as to date and the last section which i'm going to drop over here is the input text area just drop it over here, select this and let me name this as reason, binding, name and label all will be updated with same. If you see over here, the data is getting created and the binding. Once we complete populating all the details in the form, we need to just tab out somewhere outside here in the form. I will click over here so that we get this form properties. If you scroll down, we are going to create one more presentation over here we are going to clone just select this clone and instead of submitter we are going to name this as approver we need a form in order to show the details to the approver as well click on create and leave default if you want to disable anything you can do i'm keeping default for demonstration purpose switch over to the process expand the human workflow under bpm drag this and drop it over here approve task let me rename this to approver click on enter done now we need to go into the properties by clicking on open properties and we need to associate the presentation of the form which we created just now click on this magnifier icon select the form click on ok from the presentation click on approver done just minimize this and click on this go to properties just make sure it has updated the presentation as we have renamed to the meter it is updated successfully just minimize this now let's go to data association if you see over here, whatever we have entered in the form, it has mapped to the data object for the form. It will be under data objects process. That is this one. Now we need to map 
from data object to the form which is available for the approver. Now, in order to do that, go to the data association available for this approver. It has already mapped. So, this is done. Let me activate this process application and create a task. Just make sure after activation, you associate your user roles for this process owner. I will pause this class over here and we will resume this class from the task creation page. I am here in the my apps. I am going to create a task for this process. Let me first follow up the details over here. Here I am going to name this as learning. From date, I will select some dummy date 3rd of September and to date 4th of September. In reason, I will name this as test application and click on submit so that it will create a process instance for our task. If you see over here, a process instance has been created. Let me switch over to my task and verify. I am now here in the under my task. If you see, a process instance has been created with the number 834495 with all the details whatever we had filled up in the form. Now, if you see over here, there is a section called as documents. If you click on this, we can upload the file manually that is by clicking on this upload file. Here it is saying we can upload a size of file up to 15 MB. So, we can select the file over here. Let me select one of the files by clicking on this choose file button. I have one file over here. Let me select this and click on open. So, this will upload the file and click on upload button over here. So, as you can see, we have uploaded the file over here. Uh, let me delete this as we are going to update this file with the help of REST API. Now, we are going to make use of this REST API and upload the same file with the help of SOAP UI. So, let me switch over to SOAP UI tool and create the project. I have created the project. If you see the resource over here, I have copy pasted the same thing, whatever is mentioned over here in the document. ID is our path parameter. Automatically, SOAP UI will create a path parameter over here under the request. Now, first thing is we need to change the method to post and click on this authorization and create the basic authorization by clicking on add new authorization. Click on basic. Just make sure you select this authenticate preemptively in order to make use of this REST API and populate the username password. I will populate the username and password. Next, in the media type, we need to select the multi-part mixed. If you see at the documentation over here, the content type is multi-part mixed. This we need to add. Next thing is we need to add this as a JSON request. If you see over here, the part one in the multi-part request is a JSON file. So, what we can do is here, we can just put the JSON data, just replace this file name with the file name which we are going to upload. In our case, the file name is testfile.txt. So, if you click on the attachment, we need to add the attachment over here. Click on the plus. We need to select the file that is testfile.txt and click on open. It will ask whether to catch the request attachment in the request. We can select yes or no as per your requirement. I am clicking on no. Now, if you look at the ID over here, the path parameter, we need to populate the task ID, not the process ID. If you look at the task over here, the process ID, what you see, this is the instance ID for the process application which has created. We don't want that. So, every task like this process will have n number of IDs or the instances created and each and every task will be associated with the ID. We need to get the ID for that. In order to get the ID, we need to make use of that retrieve a task. I have made use of this postman application in order to consume or fetch the details of task. If you see, this is the task ID which we need to use in order to update the or upload the file. Let me make use of this and populate over here in the value. Just tab out and click on send button. This has uploaded the file. If you see on the right side, the details will be available. Now, let's verify from the UI whether it has uploaded or not. Just click on this again. Go to forms. If you see, the file has been uploaded, that is testfile.txt. So, like this, we can make use of REST APIs for Oracle integration for processors and upload the file. With the help of REST APIs, I was able to upload the file up to 20 MB. I have not tested beyond that, but from the UI, there is a restriction up to 15 MB only. But up to what size we can upload this, you need to test as per your business requirement. In our next class, we will learn how we can make use of integration and upload the attachments to the process tasks dynamically. And then we will also learn how we can make a UI with the help of Visual Builder applications. And there we can upload the file and that file will be sent to integration and from there it will update to a process task.